Okay, Henry family, I am in a mad dash here. I just got home from out west. We got our butts kicked out there, guys. Uh, we have never went out there and not shot a deer, and this year we never even saw a mature buck in four days. So uh, it was tough. It is what it is. Uh, my buddy Craig is going to stay out there one more day, but I had to get home. Uh, but I got home about 3.15 this afternoon and uh, organized some of the stuff real quick. Took a quick shower because we don't actually have a shower that works anymore out there. And I was feeling a little grungy. But uh, anyway, my dad informed me that on one of the trail cameras, on one of our dry land corners, we have planted to rye on the home farm here. There was a really big buck there last night, a new one. Uh, so. I've got the 360 buck hammer in tow, and uh, we're gonna sneak down here and see if I can't get set up before it gets dark. Uh, it's about four o'clock right now. It gets dark a little bit before six, uh, so we're gonna have a little less than two hours here. Uh, it was warm today at 68 degrees right now, so plenty warm. They're probably not gonna move till a little bit later, so I'm hoping maybe I can slip in here. If I can't get to the blind, I might just sit kind of off um, everything and hope that maybe something will work out to me uh, if not uh, maybe we can lay our eyes on this deer and see what he is so stick with me here be there shortly all right and your family i've got here to the farm i'm sneaking in this is probably a stupid idea but uh we'll see i'm hoping i can get all the way to the blind i gotta walk across a big wide open field with the way the wind is to get into this blind but uh we'll see we'll see if i get in here or not it's like 4 15 or 4 20 something like that these deer are gonna start moving at any minute i'm gonna be cutting it really 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 close i just hope i don't bugger them but hey you gotta do what you gotta do it's warm enough i think i might be all right i think According to the trail camera, the deer started moving at about 4.45. Well, that's about 20 minutes from now, so we're cutting it close. We'll see if we can make it in here. Wish me luck. I don't have much farther to go. We're set up and hunting. Might get carried away by flies in here, but we'll see what happens. I can't believe I got in this blind this late. Hopefully it pays off.
I see a fight. It's getting low light here, and I know this GoPro isn't very good, but I only have my zoom lens uh, for my good camera, so I can't really uh, film, I guess, anything recovery with it. <laughs> but uh, we're sneaking in here. I actually snuck up here already just to see if there was good blood, and there was really, really good blood right where I shot him. So that's good. I'm guaranteeing you he didn't go too far. It's been probably, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes since I shot him, but According to the footage, we hit him hard and I guarantee you he didn't go far. We hammered him with the 360 buck hammer, guys. It looked like really good long blood. So I bet he is toast. All right, he was standing right here. Got good blood right away. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can in the GoPro. Blood on this tree right here. Bright red blood. When my dad gets here, I mean, he's going to bring my other lens and we'll be able to film a little bit better here, but I think I see him, guys. He didn't go, he didn't go 20 yards. <laughs> there he is. I just need to look up. Guys, this deer might be bigger than I think he is. Oh my gosh. He is bigger than I think he is. He is a lot bigger than I think he is. And boy, did we double lung him with the 360 buck hammer. <laughs> Dude, this deer is awesome. 
smoking. Look at the brow time on that deer. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Stickers. He broke a point off right here in a big brow. What an awesome deer. I cannot believe I was contemplating not shooting him because he broke that brow tine off. That would have been extremely stupid. This deer is an absolute stud and I am so happy. 13th of November, my grandpa's favorite number out of his blind, but on my other grandpa and my dad's farm. Cool. The good Lord just continues to show off and bless me with amazing things, with amazing signs. Um, so cool. Absolutely gorgeous deer. I'll get the good camera and uh, we'll get a little more footage of him here when my dad gets here. <laughs> All right, guys, my dad got here. We got him out here and got some lights on him so you can see him a little better. But uh, this deer is honestly a better deer than I thought he was. When he first come out, I had a lot of trail camera pictures of him and uh, <laughs> I just wasn't sure at first. The more I looked at him, I'm like, you know what? That is a big deer. <laughs> and I haven't killed a deer a big deer here on my home farm uh, since 2017. And uh, you know what? I looked at my phone and it was the 13th. And like I said, that was my grandpa Dale's favorite number. And I was sitting in his blind back here on my dad and grandpa Jim's farm. So it just, everything just came together and I couldn't pass him up. He's a mature deer, big 10 pointer, got a gigantic brow tine here. He busted this one off, but uh, just a really, awesome deer and what a crazy story go out to western nebraska and we just got our butts kicked out there drive four hours home throw my stuff in the house grab my clothes run down here got here late and the 360 buck hammer puts one down cool deal couldn't be more happy couldn't be more excited nebraska tag punched hope you guys enjoyed this episode of hunt with a henry I definitely enjoyed bringing it to you guys. God bless. And remember, if it's not made in America, it's not going to be made at all. We'll see you in the next one, guys.